Hello, I'm Hide from Japan. I'm working in Rakuten Inc. as an engineer for the last three years. I have an immense interest in open source software, its usage and inception. And luckily, I got a chance to work on Solar and give a presentation here. So it's after the lunch time, so you're a little bit sleepy, I guess. But uh, uh, anyway, I'll do my best. And uh, OK, so here is my presentation agenda copied from the conference site. I'm going to talk about architecture patterns of solar center advertising systems and practical knowledge which we gain by operating the system with high availability for years. And through the presentation, I'm hoping that beginners will get uh, the hints of how to design their system architecture using solar with high availability and uh, how to manage or operate the system avoiding downtime. So my talk is not about NRT, solar cloud, or complicated query, or other solar hot topics, but the thing I want to talk about is just solar in action for someone who is not familiar with solar, or who has not used solar in production environment yet. So, our systems have some bad points which we have been struggling to solve. So then it will be useful for your future system planning. Okay, in my talk, I'm going to cover these five topics. The first topic is introduction of me and our company, Rakuten. So how, how many people already know about Rakuten? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so, yeah, today it's a good chance for all, all of you to know about our company, Rakuten. So, the second topic is architecture of our, our advertising system, which uses solar inside. So, we have been changing our system gradually, so let me share you an uh, overview of it. And the third one is about system performance related to the solar. So here I want to talk about some basic system tuning points about solar. Mm -hmm. okay. The first topic is solar plugin. Uh, so we have implemented some solar plugins for our own use, so such as response writer and such component. Then I'll share you it. Uh, and the last topic is just for time adjustment. So as long as time allows, I'm going to talk about how to use Japanese in Sora. Mm. OK, so let's get started. This is something real about me. So I'm Hatayama Hideharu, but it's so long. So then please call me Hide. So I got a Master of Engineering at Tokyo Institute of Technology in Japan. After the graduation, I've been working in Rakuten for the last three years. And my major works are developing uh, advertising man management system and advertisement distribution systems. And currently, I'm working on system architecture design for our new services. So major issues are increasing the performance of the systems and also increasing profitability of the services. And of course, I'm not a solar committer, but just a user of it. Okay, so, and the next is about uh, Rak company Rakuten. So, Rakuten is an internet service company uh, founded 1997 in Tokyo, Japan. So, 15 or 16 years has passed from the birth of Rakuten. So, at the beginning, we are only running a shopping mall service called Rakuten Ichiban. But currently, we are offering various kinds of services, such as ebook service with Kobo and travel booking service. And as you can see at the left side, we have financial services such as banking, credit card, and securities. All the services are connected 
connected by membership program, then forming a big ecosystem. Uh, and you know, we also have a professional baseball team, uh, Rakuten Eagles. Here are some figures which shows uh, service penetration. So I'm uh, hoping 85% of Japanese internet users have Rakuten accounts. And transaction volume is about 4 trillion yen uh, in 2012. Okay, so this is uh, one of our key services is Rakuten Nichiba, so which is the largest online shopping mall in Japan. So this is Rakuten Nichiba top page, so in a first impression, it's like a mess. But uh, as you can see, we are offering many functions so that user, user can enjoy looking around so many items and so many shops. And now we are expanding our business overseas. So thereby we have shopping malls in US, Europe, and Asia, and others. Okay, so that's the uh, end of company publicity. So let's move, move to the next topic, uh, solar center advertising systems. So we are running a couple of advertising services, then let me show you that first. Uh, here is a uh, listing advertisement, which is also called as uh, search for advertisement. So if Rakuten Ichiba user searches item by search keyword, then keyword related advertisement will be shown as well as item result list. And uh, next is display advertisement, so which can be called as placement related advertisement. So if a user goes to fashion category page, uh, fashion related advertisement will be displayed. And display advertisement contains user targeting ad, so browsing history or user segmentation related advertisement will be shown. And besides this advertisement, we have funny advertisement type. So this is one of our campaign sales page. And in this page, there are 10 item categories. And each category has 12 uh, promoted items. So it means this page is composed of 120 advertisement only. So this is a landscape of ad advertisement system. So the system consists of two big systems. One is uh, advertisement management system, and the other one is advertisement distribution system, which works as a web API. So returning back appropriate advertisement for web pages. And today I'm going to mainly talk about this advertisement distribution side. This is simplified functionality of advertisement distribution API. So receiving some parameters such as placement, keyword, and other types, then searching, filtering, and sorting advertisement. Then return back it to web client with JSON, HTML, or JavaScript format. So it's very simple and easy task. But uh, we need high performance and high availability. For example, one of uh, our system is required to handle more than 7,000 requests per second for a single server, uh, and with 100% availability. And we are also correcting and analyzing application log, then improving, improving profitability. So as I mentioned before, we are offering various types of various types of advertisement, but the basic architecture is uh, basically the same and using these softwares. So uh, I guess you are all, all familiar with these technologies, but uh, we are using so many databases such as Sora, Redis, Kyos Tycoon, MongoDB, and MySQL. And uh, using Fluent T as a log corrector and a log processor instead of Flume. Uh, 
Okay, so this is a simplified system design of one of our advertisement web API, so which we made a few years ago. So as you can see here, we are using master slave uh, composition. S and uh, actual networking is more complicated and uh, redundant, but uh, I gave, gave up to write down here. So front end, uh, we adapted clustered model. So redline box stands for one physical server, and blue box uh, stands for one cluster. <laughs> So one cluster consists of four web servers using Apache and five application servers using Tomcat. And each application server has two or four Tomcat instances, and it also has a ready slave instance. About backend, about backend Sora slave instances are separated from front end by server load balancer. And we had only single Sora master and a Redis master. And to return back advertisement, <laughs> the request goes to Apache, then goes to Tomcat beyond the servers. Mm -hmm. And then our separate application send a request to Sora server instances for searching advertisement data through load balancer. So this. This system has these features. So we diversified the risks. So even if one of Sora or one physical server crash, basically it doesn't matter. And each server has only one task. So web server only handles requests, and Sora server only searches advertisement. So it has got a very simple task and the role allocated. And we can easily make full use of server resources, so on-demand resource pooling and the provision is possible. So for example, uh, add one from cluster for handling more requests, and to swap bro broken Apache servers, and tune up performance, then decrease application server from five to three, something like that. However, uh, on the other hand, these are disadvantages of the system. So there are so many servers and so many configurations, and we didn't have any automatic deploy or uh, configuration tools. Therefore, it was very troublesome to update the system. And external networking is between needed between Apache and Tomcat, and between our application to Solar. At that time, uh, each middleware, Sora or Redis, had never died, and uh, no server crashed. But the performance or processing time was a big issue. So, in this system, one cluster could handle only a few hundred requests per second, and our application processing time was only. Uh, mm. Uh, so, uh, 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 oh, sorry, and our application processing time was uh, less than one millisecond or two millisecond, but it took more than 10 or 20 millisecond for completing response. Mm. Then the architecture de design change is needed. <coughs> so we changed the design a little bit. So as you can see, we abolished uh, cluster model, then merged web server and application server into a uh, physical server. So front-end server contains both Apache and Tomcat. Then external networking was moved to internal connection between these two. So as a result of this change, it became easier to understand whole system network and easy to operate and easy to deploy or change in configurations. And the performance was slightly improved. Then one front-end server can handle about 1,000 requests per second, I guess. But uh, Sora Slave instances are still far from our application. 
So every, every request needs external networking through load balancer for searching appropriate advertisement in SolarSlave. So we changed one of our system architecture designs again like this. So red line box stands for one physical server. So we matched front end server and back end solar slave server. Then one server contains all data store which is needed for searching advertisement request. Hmm. Then our oh, solar slave instances in is included in application server. Then the server contains one Apache web server and two application on Tomcat and two Solar Slave instances and Redis Slave instances. And no external co connection or networking is needed for returning back advertisement now. And backend servers are for Solar and Redis master instances. So only the re replication requests externally go through load balancer. So good points of this system are, are as following. So now solar master instances are redundant, then no single point of failure in this system. And, and to understand the system process, it basically need only one server. So we can easily operate this system. And this system shows good performance. Then one server can handle about 7,000 requests per second, and average of responding time is also decreased. And we are now try to, trying to design a new system architecture for our new advertisement services. So until now, we have been basically using a physical server on premise for the purpose of cost saving. But for, for new services, it might be good to use cloud environment in terms of delivery time and flexibility. The system I share here has very small solar index, around a few gigabytes. The master slave structure works well, but we also have systems which need a big solar index, so take it into consideration to use solar cloud. And we, we loved Apache, Tomcat, and Java Sublet. But this threat and the process driven style has a lot of disadvantage, I guess. So we are now investigating alternative styles. But uh, I can't talk about it in detail now uh, because everything is under construction yet. OK, so at the end of this topic, I want to show you daily operation example with our current system. So let's update the schema of the system. Okay. At the first, stop master slave replication of solar. Next, uh, separate one front server from the internet. So suppose that we have three front servers. Then two servers are handling requests from load balancer. And no more request is sent to the right hand side server. Then uh, update solar schema and uh, our application in the right hand side server. Then update schema of solar master and data migration will also be needed in some cases. Then restart solar replication of the right hand side server, which is separated from the service. Then test the application functions and check that uh, data is correct using reverse proxy. And connect, connect the update server to the internet and do the same operation to left hand side servers. OK, that's it. Okay, the third topic is uh, system performance related to the solar. So here, I want to talk about some basic system tuning points. The first is solar cache. So as you can see here, Lucene and solar support various types of cache. 
So as a name derives, we can imagine each cache function. So field cache caches cache, cache is field, and document cache caches each document. And we can easily set up each cache policy by updating sort of config to the XML. So such as initial number of cache entries in hash map and maximum number of entries. And number of entries which will be pre-populated from an older cache for new index searcher. And uh, we can also choose cache implementation from least recently used cache and least frequently used cache. And least recently used cache has two versions. One is faster read and the other one is faster insertion. So here's an example of cache usage in one of our systems. So we are using filter cache, and as you can see here, our filter entry size is very small, only, only 14. So the default configuration 